So there's this energy of a lot of, um, amongst the readers, we're finding out a lot of secrets coming out right now, you know, the Saturn retrograde, it's a lot of um, energy about surrounding about cheaters. So I thought I'd make this video today. So um, one way you could tell if you're a, if you're a, a bruja, brujo, spiritualist, whatever you, you know, whatever you call yourself, but if you venerate your ancestors, you're tapped in, uh, one way you can tell when your partner is uh, being unfaithful to you is you're going to notice that this person is going to start receiving like a, from out of nowhere a streak of bad luck like sh things are just not going to be going good for this person and you're going to be like what the hell is going on so story time so <laughs> my ex he um when he was cheating on me he I thought he was initiated and and, and follow my own bay and he knew how to cover his tracks to a certain certain degree um but i don't think he had ever dated a medium before um <laughs> so long story short all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I'm noticing like all these bad things start happening to him. He like lost his job all of a sudden that he had had for years. He, his dog died. He's, um, his son started having problems, you know, like he has to have started, have, he started having issues with his son. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? So anyway, I always meditate for clarity or my spirits bring things to me in my dream. So I'm having a, I'm taking a nap one day and I'm seeing him on the phone talking to this chick and I'm like, Hmm. So I get up and I call him. By the way, this was a long distance relationship. I'm going to say, there's a saying, amor de lejos, amor de pendejos. Amor de lejos, felices los cuatro. It's like, if you're loving somebody from a distance, you're stupid. If you're loving somebody from a distance, you got a long distance relationship, then all four of you are happy. You know, that's the joke, right? People say, I don't necessarily think it's not ideal long distance relationship, but if you have somebody who's honest, who's loyal, and who knows how to be faithful, um, you know, it, it could have, it could be okay, but typically I tend to stay away from them for a reason. But anyway, long story short, um, I call him and I'm like, I see you talking to this lady. What's up with that? He's like, oh, that's my coworker. She just called me because, you know, she wanted to know the details about why I got fired. I'm like, I never heard of her before. Like you never told me about her before. And, um, you know, my spirit showing me something in a dream is for a reason. It's not just like happenstance. Right. So he's like, well, I don't have to tell you everything. He was cheating. He was cheating. As a matter of fact, that's the reason that he got fired. He got caught cheating on the job. And that's why he also didn't tell me why he got fired. So his dumb ass was cheating. And my ancestors was whooping his ass behind the scenes. <laughs> so that's the way you can tell for the men and the women. If your person's doing you dirty and you are tapped in with your ancestors, they're going to be kicking that person's ass behind the scenes. And they're going to put you up on game of what's happening. That's another, another reason amongst many why you need to stay tapped in.